it can happen to you. I'm in that space right now. The first few seconds of a heart attack. And you could be driving down the road in the middle of a busy street. You are the first person who knows that you're having a heart attack. And there's no one who can help you faster than you can help yourself. When you're having a heart attack, you would have heard of CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. When we see somebody having a heart attack or we go to the emergency room of hospitals, we see paramedics or other people pumping people's chest. What are they doing? They're pumping the heart, trying to get it to pump again. They're massaging the heart. But when you're driving down the road, even if there are 500 vehicles around you, you are in the middle of the traffic. You're the only one who knows you're having a heart attack. And it's the first few critical seconds that can save your life. And if you don't have anybody with you, who you can tell that you're having a heart attack, what you can do is administer a self-CPR. Essentially, you need to do two things in administering CPR, whether to yourself or to someone else. You need more oxygen into your system and you need to massage your heart. How do you get more oxygen into your system? Breathing, right? Absolutely. Breathe hard. Almost taking in all the air deep down into your stomach so that as much air as possible gets into your system. Take deep breaths, like so. And the second thing you need to do is cough, and cough from the bottom of your stomach, as if you want to take your intestines out from your, from your mouth. <laughs> when you're coughing like that, what will happen is in the process of your coughing, your chest will constrict. And in the process of this constriction, it will massage your heart. So alternate breathing and coughing and keep doing that every two seconds, like so. <coughs> and keep doing that. In the process, you'll get more oxygen into your system. You're pumping your, massaging your heart. And while you're doing that, particularly if there are people around you, traffic around you, passes by around you, they'll figure out that there's something wrong. You're going through a problem and there'll be people who will come to help you. It is the first 10, 15, 20 seconds, which are the most critical when you're having a heart attack. And that's when you need to help yourself because you are the person who is the first to know that you're having a heart attack. So what do you do to administer a self-CPR? Breathe deeply and cough from the bottom of your stomach. Practice it. It can happen to you.